All right, welcome back to Skyrim. So last time we were making our way to uh, Morthal after speaking to Silas at the museum in Dawnstar so we could pick up a piece of the Mayrd's razor that he wants to add to his collection. And after that, we're going to head to uh, Solitude to deal with Thoron and close the Saints and Seducers questline. On our way, however, we found Murwatch here, which was actually my first time finding it in-game ever since I purchased the full Anniversary Edition upgrade. So that was a pretty neat little find. I feel like the house is a little bit too easy to get. They locked it behind like a flame spell on a seal on the floor. They could have made it like a higher level spell rest restriction. I thought I would have felt that that would have been better, but oh well. So yeah, let's continue on the way to Morthal. Sorry, I forgot to unmute my mic for a second there. I had to pick up a phone call, so I paused the video and also muted my microphone just in case. Yeah, Morthal is right over there. Easy enough to get to. We could take the road, but that's lame. We're we're a wizard. Let's do this the wizard way. Also, you may hear some bird song in the background. I have my my window that's next to me open. Normally I don't when I record, but it, my room would get much too hot if I left that closed right now. But there are worse noises to hear than like bird song, so hopefully it doesn't bother you. Right now there's a very demanding blue jay out there demanding that everybody pays attention to it. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. But yes, Jurgen is who we have to talk to. Focusing my mind back to the game. This will take a little bit of convincing more suspects, so never have I seen its light. Okay, somebody actually did react to the skull of corruption. Interesting. Are you Jurgen? Unless it's about the mill. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. I think you can make some time for me, because I'm looking for the pieces of Mayrun's razor. I don't know what you're talking about, stranger. Don't play coy. Silas Vesuvius says otherwise. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic Dawn. Guess they were true. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead cult. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. That was rather stupid, you telling me where you're keeping it. <laughs> but no, don't worry, I'm not going to let it fall into his hands for, you know, cult purposes. He just wants it on display, and if it turns out to that that's a lie, then I'll just take it from him. So, yeah, you, you're not going to miss it. It's not going to fall into bad hands. I suggest you just give it to me. I don't care, but my ancestors do. You can't have it. Okay, then give me the hilt or things get ugly. Easy. Here, these are the keys. The hilt is in a chest in my house. Just don't hurt anyone. See, was that so hard? Mm hmm All right, in we go. It's funny how he gives me the keys to his house. Rather than be like, okay, I will go and get it for you. No, he gives me free reign to his house, and he lets me keep the key for some reason. In fact, Morris is going to swipe this coin purse here. He won't miss 16 gold. It'll do us better to have it anyway. Alright, a circlet, a gem. Hilt of Mayrun's Razor. Definitely an interesting looking weapon. Then some more gold and some lockpicks. Eh, nothing else I really want to take in here. Right, well, that'll probably be the last you hear from me. Let's just put this business behind us, okay? And now we can continue on the way to Solitude. Which, again, I could take the road, or I could do the more interesting thing and take the wizard way. Which I'm going to take the wizard way, because we've not done that in this Let's Play. I believe I have taken that road, though. Yeah, because we passed Miko's shack. So, yeah, let's get going to Solitude. I have a little mod installed that adds some poison blooms to the marshes of Morthar, 
Y'all march rather. I actually rather like that little detail. Makes the swamp seem more hazardous. Definitely getting to the point where I have quite a few utility spells favorited, so I'm having to look through my list for a second. But I do not mind. I actually rather like having as many utility spells as I have. What's in here? Mindful of the poison bloom. It looks like a mud crab opened that one. Oh, am I over encumbered? Yep. Am I using an adventurer backpack? Interesting that we haven't found a mage backpack yet. Hey, horrible creature. All right, water walking. There's a fort right there, too. Eh, we'll leave it be. Oops. Wow, that hurts. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Definitely want to keep our distance from those. The apprentice stone. We already have the mage stone, right? Yeah. What does this one do? Prodigy. Those under the sign of the apprentice cast spells for less magic cut and novice spells for free. Sorcerer's apprentice. These spells are much more effective, but may randomly fizzle out and become less effective instead. No thanks. We already have wild magic, so having two things that are fizzling our spells out might become a bit overbearing. Definitely glad I chose to cut across the swamp because it's going to be, or it would be pretty late if we took the actual road. Pretty late by the time we got to the city, that is. Now what happened here? I think that was the sound of a poison bloom. There's one right there. Gonna keep my distance from them. Water walking. Yeah. You'll just have to catch up, Lucian. Swim across. Because you're a plebeian who can't walk on water. Nah, Morris wouldn't actually be saying that to him. But I think it's funny. Fun fact, by the way, in case you didn't notice this before, when you have a water walking effect in Skyrim, just by vanilla, you jump higher when you jump off the surface of the water, which I actually find really interesting because it helps you, like, jump onto docks and stuff like that. So that's actually not a feature of my spell specifically. It's a feature of the vanilla game, which is just interesting to me. Look at that. It's pretty. Ulfric Stormcloak, the Rifle High King. <laughs> what a laugh. It is a bit of a laugh, isn't it? Right, and so now we have to keep an eye out for some sewers. I need to go down to, because supposedly that is where Thoron is hiding out. Considering we got to the city at 5 p.m., we should hopefully be able to do the sewers before bed. If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here, or you'll end up like Rogbeer. Haven't we been to Solitude before? Maybe I didn't actually come to the city. You're just in time to say hello to Rogbeer. Who's Rogbeer? He's the sorry bastard who's going to be executed. A gate guard who let Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city. After he killed the High King. I see. Execution seems a bit of a harsh punishment for that, but definitely do deem him a bit of a traitor in that regard. Letting a murderer run free. The 
turn Uncle Rob here? Tell them he didn't do it. Definitely a pleasant first sight to see. Now I am actually using my HUD to look for the proper manhole cover because I have sewers of Skyrim installed or Skyrim sewers, whatever it's called. So there are some other manholes besides the one that we need to go to, but this is the one. So let's just get some magic ready. Some oblivion dungeon music down here. Try not to spend too long down here. It reeks. Goodness me! This is remarkable. Some kind of science root network. But you don't just get roots on that wood. Is there a sticky side tree somewhere we all miss? Yeah, it is a bit interesting that this place has just gone completely unnoticed by the people of Solitude until now. But there is some extra planar nonsense going on, so I guess that maybe this could have been pulled straight from the Shivering Isles? I don't know, though. It is a bit strange, nonetheless. I wonder how exactly this place was brought into existence. The root cause, if you will. Get it? <laughs> Root. Ooh, looks like we'll be able to level up tonight when we go to bed. Sounds like a spriggan, yep. Oh. Keep charging the spell. Okay. I thought it was gonna shoot its bugs at me, which the barrier would have helped with. Let's refresh that, speaking of, because I still hear more Spriggans. Uh, I keep accidentally letting go too early. Sorry. Don't know why I'm doing that, though. Well, they're going down easily enough. I was actually expecting this to be a much more rough endeavor going through here. But I think I've only done this place while underleveled in the past. I guess we'll see when we confront the man himself. You know, sewers aside, this place is actually kind of interesting. It's not exactly dreary either, so I would almost call it cheerful. If we're speaking in terms of the Shivering Isles DLC, I would say this reminds me a bit more of Mania than Dementia. But Morris doesn't know that. That's just me commenting as a player. I think I want to go down that other tunnel first, because that looks like progress. I've only been through here like once or twice, so I don't exactly have the place memorized. I turned the things around me invisible, which is just Lucian for now. Nice and easy. And we have a chest here. Apprentice lock, nothing our spell can't get through. I'm definitely enjoying the barrier spell having a longer duration now. Did I set it to 90 seconds? Is that what I did? Let me just double check that. Yeah, 90 seconds rather than 60. At 60, it felt a bit too short. Okay. Ah, we got some Elytra here. Elytra, Elytra. I'm actually not certain how that word is said. I realized that after I said it out loud. There's the Spriggan. The flora down here is extremely interesting. 
I've never seen anything quite like it. It must be from Oblivion too. <laughs> that, that's a bit of a double entendre, you just said, without realizing it maybe, because it's from Delta Scrolls IV Oblivion, but also a plane of Oblivion. <laughs> Don't ask what that fake laugh was. There is Thoron. Thank you, Wild Magic. <laughs> oh, he's actually uh, kind of tough. And he's summoning. I'm actually kind of surprised the giant fits down here. Get him. Oh, that's a cool summon to have down here, isn't it? Thank you, Wild Magic. That was actually really cool. <laughs> Although I realize I'm kind of tooting my own horn when I say right, that. That's all Thoron dealt with. Spooky magic sword. Should probably grab that. Carefully. Yeah, let's see what he has here. Madness Helm of Recovery. Ooh, that's a pretty valuable helmet and a good enchantment. Although we are playing unarmored, so can't really wear it. Ring of Disrobing. That might explain the lack of other clubs. Ooh, some summons. Staff, some journals. And where's that sword? Sword of Jigalag. Surprised I'm not over encumbered now, even with the backpack. I have to swing by some stores in the morning. There's also an enchanting table here. Sword? Do you know, I think it might be the Sword of Jigalag. Be very careful indeed with it. I'm not actually sure what it does. Sheogorath shaped amber. Note on amber madness ore. This sample of madness ore discovered deep in a Nordic ruin. Or. Oh, was discovered deep in a Nordic ruin. It shouldn't have. No, could not have There's been. There's someone out there smithing more of this madness ore for Thoron's minions. We need to put a stop to it. Don't you agree? I do wish that the commentary wouldn't happen when I was trying to read, but again, there's nothing I could really do about it because it's a unpaused inventory or menu mod. Could not have been from there. My time spent with the sword has had an impact far greater than I could have ever imagined. My reach has grown far beyond these twisting tunnels. This is wonderful news. Perhaps even more of such fragments have appeared in the unlikeliest of places. That said, working, at the, working this material into a usable form has proven difficult. Raw amber, equally so. This is a job better suited for a master blacksmith with deep knowledge of the arcane, someone like Evethra. A peerless smithy and my confidant in learning the hidden sides of spellcraft. Evethra would, would no doubt be able to work out the, secret, the secrets of amber and madness ore. If she, hasn't, if she hasn't gone completely mad by now, that is. I shall have the seducers deliver a sample of each. With any luck, she still hones her craft to the north of Mistwatch, even after all these years. Interesting. And I'm not going to read through Thoron's journals. If you want to read through that, you'll have to play through it yourself or watch somebody else. Just don't feel like reading through it. But yeah, that's this place taken care of. There will be a couple more loose ends with this quest line, but besides that, we've majorly wrapped it up. Wrapped up the majority of it, I should be saying. But you know me by now. I kind of struggle with my words. Maybe I'll get better about that the longer I do this, but for now, I still struggle. Sorry, I didn't catch that last part, Lucian. Oh, he said I can't imagine it's a good thing. I saw it in the subtitle. <clears throat> I thought I saw something move over there. Perhaps just my imagination. Down here, an imagination might also be dangerous. I imagine. Hit. <laughs> Because we are definitely closer I'm to the Shivering Isles. Jari, it doesn't matter how many times you ask. And I'm just gonna clean up after that endeavor. New right? 
Don't feel like smelling like sewer. Yeah, now let's get a room for the night. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Hi. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. About my room? Yes. I'm sure I can find on my own. Thank you. I understand. Right. How are we doing in terms of hunger? We're a bit peckish. I'll just eat in the morning. You just wait down here, Lucy, and I'm going to have a bit of an early bedtime. So yeah, let's do that real quick. All right, I'm going to take more health because we are still a bit squishy. And now this time, I'm actually going to take Atromancy like I had a tease a few other times. Got a bit of a flickering light source in here. Engine light limit, you know. You know by now. But yes, that's where I'm going to end this episode off here. Between episodes, I'm going to do some selling to shopkeepers to offload some of my inventory because I'm pretty close to over encumbered, even with my backpacks just three pounds off of it at the moment. But yes, thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.